Hello guys, welcome back to Electrical Infinity. In this video, I am going to explain you about the motor control panel. That this panel has a set of DOL starters. In this panel, we have 13 DOL starter for operating 13 pumps. So as you can see here, this one is an SLD. I am, I am going to explain this panel with the help of SLD. Here you can see there are three phase indicators on the panel top side. R phase indicator, Y phase indicator and B phase indicators. Below that you have voltmeter and a voltmeter selector switch, ammeter selector switch and an ammeter beside that. So here you can see there are indicator selector switch for 13 pumps. So this one is an air blower pump. As you can see here, this one is an air blower pump and below that there is a selector switch for operating pump 1 and pump 2. So out of these two pumps, only one pump operate at a time. So this one is an on push button, off push button and a trip indicator. And if you select this switch at pump 1, the pump 1 will operate. And if you select it at pump 2, the pump 2 will operate. Here are the on off push buttons with indicators and a trip indicator too. So this one is an air blower pump. Beside that, there is also a TR water pump as you can see here. So two TR water pumps. So it also has a selector switch pump 1 and pump 2. As you can see here with indicators as well as on off push button. This one is a raw CU pump 1 and 2. Beside that it has SLU TR pump 1 and 2 with indicators and on push buttons. And below that there is a fill feed pump, air blower and a screw pump 2. So this is the inside look of the panel as you can see here it has indicators on push button off push buttons contactors OLRs circuit breakers and a terminal blocks too. So as you can see here there are 13 contactors 13 OLRs for 13 sets of pump. So this one is an main MCCB here. As you can see here this one is an SLD of this panel and I am going to explain you about this panel with the help of this SLD. So as you can see here from incomer we are connecting a voltmeter selector switch and a voltmeter. So as you can see here this one is a voltmeter and a voltmeter selector switch. So three phases RYB are connected to voltmeter and two outputs from this voltmeter selector switch K1, K2 or V1, V2 are connected as input to this voltmeter and auxiliary supply as R and neutral are connected to this voltmeter. Right. After that here you can see we are using a 3 6 ampere single pole circuit breakers here for uh, production of phase indicators as you can see here RYB. So these are the 3 6 ampere single pole circuit breakers for production of 3 phase indicators RYB as you can see here these are the 3 phase indicators RYB. So after this voltmeter selector switch and indicators we are using a 100 ampere 4 port MCCV. This one is a main MCCV of this panel as you can see here. This one is a MCCV of Schneider and it is a 100 ampere MCCV. As you can see here the 100 ampere is written over here on this MCCV. After that we are using 3 CTs. The CTs are of 100 ampere by 5 ampere. We are using these 3 CTs for ammeter connection. As you can see here. So from these 3 CTs we are connecting it to ammeter selector switch. So 10, 30, 50 from these CTs are connected to ammeter selector switch left side as you can see here and 70 from the CT is connected to the ammeter right side and S1 S2 are taken out from this ammeter selector switch and are connected as input to the ammeter as you can see here 5 ampere input and uh, auxiliary supply is connected here as you can see here a phase and a neutral is connected here. After CT we have used a uh, 13 pair of dual starters here on the first pair we have a 16 ampere 3 pole MCB here. So as you can see here this one is a 16 ampere 3 pole MCB here and 3 phases RYB are connected over here and 3 phases are taken out from this MCB RYB and are connected to contactor. As you can see here this one is a contactor of Schneider company and the RYB phases from the circuit breakers are connected to this contactor L1, L2, L3. And after and here you can see this conductor is of 12 ampere 3 pole conductor from circuit breaker to contactor and from conductor to OLR. The OLR is of 4 to 6 ampere. So from circuit breaker to contactor and from contactor to OLR as you can see here. So the output from this OLR as you can see a 2 to terminal are connected to terminal block and to this terminal block an output is connected or load is connected. 
Now let's begin the control wiring of this panel. As you can see, this one is a 6 ampere single pole circuit breaker, and from here, the wire is connected to selector switch. As you can see, this one is a selector switch for selecting between pump 1 and 2. On the right side, there is a pump 1 circuit, and on the left side, there is a pump 2 circuit. So let's concentrate on pump 1. So here you can see there is a 4 terminal from the output terminal of the selector switch for pump 1, and from here it is connected to 95th terminal of the OLR which is NC and from 96th terminal of OLR which is NC the wire is taken out phi number and is connected to off push button here you can see the phi number and the from the output of this off push button 6 wire is taken out 2 wires are taken out and are connected to on push button as well as the NO of the contactor after that from this on push button 2 wires are taken out and one of the wire is connected to A1 and another wire is connected to NO of the contactor as you can see here. After that from NO of the contactor it is connected to ON indicator and from NC of the contactor it is connected to OFF indicator. This is how the wiring of dual starter is done in motor control panel. Now let's see the wiring of second pump connected to this selector switch. So as you can see here, this one on the left side of the selector switch, pump 2 is operated with the help of this circuit. So from 8 terminal of this, it is connected to 95th terminal of the OLR and from 96th terminal of the OLR, a wire is taken out with 9 number and is connected to off push button as you can see here with 10 coding and two wires are taken out from this off push button and one of the wire is connected to NO as you can see here the, with 10 code and another wire is connected to NO of the contactor as you can see here NO of the contactor after that two wires are taken out from the on push button two wires are taken out from the on push button and one of the wire is connected to A1 of the contactor and another wire is connected to NO of the contactor as you can see here after that from NO of the contactor an on indicator is connected and to the NC of the contactor off indicator is connected here you can see there are 13 contactors here for 13 dual starter sets and this is how the wiring of this motor control panel is done hope you have liked this video and you have gained some knowledge from this video please like this video share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel electrical infinity thanks for watching so now i am explaining you about the control circuit of this dual starter this one is an extra part of this video so let's continue it so from 6 ampere single pole circuit breaker we are connecting it to selector switch and from selector switch we are connecting pump 1 as well as pump 2. So from selector switch it is connected to two off push buttons as you can see here on the right side the off push button and the whole complete set is for pump 1 and on the left side it is for pump 2. Let's concentrate on only on pump 1. So as you can see here from selector switch to off push button. From off push button, two wires are taken out. One of the wire is connected to contactor NO and another wire is connected to on push button. Okay. Then from on push button, we are taking two wires. One of the wire is connected to NO of the contactor and another wire to the A1 of the contactor. To the A2 of the contactor, neutral is connected. So the complete wiring of pump 1 is done. Now let's see the wiring of pump 2 and it is similar to pump 1 wiring. So from selector switch it is connected to off push button. From off push button two wires are taken. One of the wire is connected to NO of the contactor and another is connected to on push button. From on push button we are taking two wires and one of the wire is connected to NO of the conductor and another wire is connected to A1 of the conductor. Then from A2 of the conductor neutral is connected. So this is how the control wiring is done. So thanks for watching this video guys. To learn electrical up to infinite hit the subscribe button hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video guys.